join me as we uncover the secret behind this air seeder hey, this is a very rare machine to find maybe in some small scale farming and uh, we are privileged to have one an air seeder is an agricultural machine used for sowing or planting seeds in large-scale farming operations. It is designed to effectively distribute seeds ac across a field for crop establishment. Air seeders utilize a combination of air pressure or a fan system to transport seeds from a seed hopper to the ground. Maybe I'm going to show you exactly what that means and where the implement is. We connect the air seeder to the tractor through the drawbar and there is the shaft and there are some two pipes over there. The two pipes are connected to a ram behind the machine which is below here that is used to lift the chisels behind because on when you are traveling on the road they should not be down, they are lifted up. The chisels are generally the distribution system. Yeah, and up here, this is known as the seed hopper. There is a fan where the air system is. Inside is an air delivery system. Air seed does employ air pressure or a fan system to transport seeds from the metering system to the ground. The air delivery system moves the seeds through tubes or holes and directs them to the desired location in the field. Down there is the big pipe now where the seeds are drawn to the distribution system it is not very hard to understand this is exactly what i'm talking about up here is uh yeah it has some two wheels because of its heavy weight it has these uh seed hopper where we put our seeds and put the fertilizer so that it can move down there and uh being planted or sowed so a seed hooper is a large container, this one, that holds the seeds to be sown. The side of the seed hooper can vary depending on the model and in uh, the model and intended use of the air seeder. Where I have closed is where we put our fertilizer, and on the next one here is where now you put your seed that you want to plant. The work of an air seeder is very let me say complex. There is something very admirable, something you would like uh, to work on your farm. And that's why we got it because our company mainly deals with uh, commercial commercial work. Uh, because mainly for, 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 for you to have uh, these implements and work for your own use, you need to have a very large, a very large farm. Behind this uh, distribution system, there are some other things that I've not showed you. They are known as the spiral rollers. They are behind here. The work of these are, they have some two functions. It covers the seed and firms up the soil and it depth controls the machine. It also helps the driver to locate where you have planted so that you don't replant. Drive to the metering units is uh, via the gauge wheel shown on the side of the machine. When you lift the machine out of the ground drive due to the metering, unit stops. In this air seeder, there are no clutches or gearboxes. When you're planting, as the wheel rotates, there is something known as the metering system, which is here. It controls the flow of the seed from the seed hopper. It ensures consistent and accurate seed rates, maybe according how you want to plant, allowing for precise seed placement. The metering system can be can can use various mechanisms such as a uh, flatted rollers or augers to regulate the seed flow so there are some meters here which are we use uh, for the meantime there you know this machine is not as new so for us to get the correct length we use a normal tape measure yeah for the work it is just the normal tape measure that it is it, the units are put there as you can see there is a wheel missing here we had taken it for some replacement because it was faulty are you ready to learn and see how it works in the farm let's get started we arrived on these three acres of land and the farmer is expecting us to do some good job as we explained to him and uh, we told him that we are going to do some good job for him those are the seeds and the fertilizer that we are supposed to use under his rates
under here is the metering system we had the his rates and we had to adjust because the previous farm that we had done it was not the same rates that he wanted for his farm oh sawa hi before planting there is another process that it is carried out for a farm like this one that is known as harrowing it is it is considered that it is one of our disadvantages of using an air seeder uh, this is now harrowing uh, a simple a short clip for you to see what i mean by harrowing there is this uh, disadvantage of uh, the air seeder it is limited suitability for certain soil conditions Air yes, seeders may not perform as well in certain soil conditions, particularly heavy or sticky soils. The lightweight design of air seeders can result in an inadequate seed to soil contact or difficulties in penetrating compacted or wet soils. It, uh, when maybe we go to some farms and we realize that it had rained, uh, it, it, it becomes very difficult for us to work in the farm. As I told you, this is where we put our fertilizer and our seed. On my left is where we put our fertilizer. On my right side is where we put uh, the seed itself. And that's how it, it is. We are ready to work. We are ready to start uh, planting. I'm going to show you now how we work, how it, it operates. I want you to look closely. You can see the driver, the operator has engaged the PTO gear and now the PTO shaft is running so that the blower, the blower now it you as you can see the shaft is it's rotating so that the blower can blow air. This is an air seeder. It can blow air to the distribution system so that uh, there can be no any blockage. That's the first step. You can't maybe start moving or putting down the gear down and you've not started blowing the seed obviously it will have some breakdown so the first step you engage your PTO gear you put down the the distribution system behind uh, let, let me show you that's the work of the two pipes that I showed you there is a ram over here so that the, these cheese cells can go down The advantage of these chisels in this distribution system is for precision seeding. Now he is starting. Precision seeding. Your seeders provide accurate and precise seed placement. The metering system ensures consistent seed rates, which promotes uniform plant emergence and growth. The precision can contribute to higher crop yields and reduce seed wastage. The air delivery system in a air seeder provides even seed distribution across the field and it reduces the risk of skips or overlaps in seeding, resulting in better crop establishment and more consistent, consistent plant populations. Uh, there is maybe this challenge to an operator <laughs> already you've seen one to an operator or maybe the co-driver uh, you might find uh, there is maybe the the field is too dusty maybe you might it, the work is not very easy it is at times tedious but you know anyway we we just struggling and we want to earn our living we want to maybe do a good job and we must do what is necessary do what is supposed for us to do the farm was very much suitable working on it we had no breakdown because it was very much well prepared there was plowing there was harrowing maybe i don't i don't know if he had hallowed two times or 
uh, one time but the field was just as smooth and we did the work very perfectly passionately we deliver what we do with passion <laughs> The reason why he's lifting the chisels at the end of the shamba is to avoid replanting and uh, yeah, that's basically the main reason why he lifts it up. Three acres for this big machine was a walkover. Maybe for around uh, 45 minutes we were done with the work and that is how basically you can see how my guys were looking like very tired very dirty but at least now they had something in their pockets they could afford now maybe having a drink this is how we expect the farm to look like because this is the work it does some very good job you might consider having the air seeder <laughs> 